Talk a little bit about the mole concept. Every student's favorite topic. They just love doing mold problems. I don't know about yours, but mine loved it. They were mesmerized by the concept. I don't know if you know where it comes from, but I believe it was Wilhelm Oswald, a German chemist, who coined the term mole. It comes from Latin. I think it means little heaping pile, which is what most kids actually think of the concept. Now, one thing I have my students do, sometimes even before they use the word mole in class, is they have to make a mole. I'd like them to sew it. And if they make the standard mold that we sew, it looks something like this. Okay, so let me put it down. That's pretty much the standard mold. Sometimes it has a star in the front. This kid failed the graph. Oh, that is the front. I don't know what the front is. So this one has two fronts. Um, sometimes the concept isn't always clear. This looks like it's on the rear. <laughs> the star mold. The picture I give them is right here. And uh, you know, if their father doesn't sew, they're going to have to do it themselves. And I say, you get five points. There's no extra credit. Five points. You have to do it. You have to make some mold. And you have to bring it in on mold day. They, what's mold day? It's, it said October 23rd. What does that mean? We haven't studied yet. Just worry. On mold day, we'll talk about it. This is exciting. And I said, you can, if you're creative, then you can get some extra credit if you bring in some other ones. So I brought in some of the ones that I love, that I thought were the most creative ones that were out there. So you saw a standard mole. Here's one that's just nice. It's got goggles and test tubes and everything else in its hand. OK, set that down for a second. Now, they don't necessarily have to sew. They could be, this kid obviously woke up in the morning and said, I need to do something today. It's due. So I'm sure he grabs some cardboard or she and cut it out, and that's the result of that thing. Here's another one, but I like it. It's creative. This one probably got extra credit. It says mole paste, which is a takeoff on mole. This is an avocado. So it's like avocado's number or something. Uh, there may even be a name on here, guacamole. That's what it is, guacamole. Here's another one. This one was even more, that one was creative. It would have gotten some extra credit. Guacamole, and there's like feet in the guacamoles, you know, for the mole. It's, you know, it's creative. And tell you what, the kids get a kick. Judge my next. And, I, you know, it's, and I got to watch it. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, okay? Now, you can even do pins. These people made badges. That's fine. Here's Chernobyl mole. Here's a mole puppet. And I could annoy them later in the year with it. It has arms in the whole nine yards. <laughs> um, an art project. Roadkill mole. Whoops. Okay, so there's all kinds of things you can do with it to be creative. I don't, did this kid buy one? Is this a commercial one? Yeah, all right, there you go. Some kid went online and bought one, you know, and I live in Naperville, what the heck, have your, you know, buy one. That's the way to go. That's a cute one. I don't know what that is. No clue. This one was a really creative one. Totem mole. I don't know. Molotov cocktail. There is a mole in here. Holy moly. All right. The kid got my blessings. All right. I mean, this, this is a good one. I don't know if you can see the words anymore. There's a mole in my bucket. Dear Liza, dear Liza, all right, and there is. Um, and they can make, I, the biggest one I had was like eight feet long. It came on the top of a Volkswagen to school, all right? And there are commercial ones you can buy. There's a mole puppet that comes from somebody. There's all kinds that can be creative. Here's a beanbag mole. Here's the kid that woke up in the morning, duct tape. And uh, 
mole sauce again, there it is. And my absolute all-time favorite, well, my all-time favorite they wouldn't let me show, but this is my second all-time favorite. This is the mole concept in brief. <laughs> it's made with underwear. Okay. I know. Now you're saying, well, what else can you do with these moles when you've got them? Well, you can teach this concept. Ta-da! Let me go to the board here. Molarity. Moles per liter. This needs to be in liters. This is moles. This is the molarity. This triangle sometimes helps, but really it's a crutch, and I prefer not to use it, but you can do it if this inspires your students. This line means multiply. This line means divide. So you can use this to solve this equation if they need a crutch like that. You know, that's great if they need it. And then maybe they, you can wean them from it later. So here is a one liter beaker. I probably should be using a volumetric flask, but I can't cram a mole in there. Okay, so this is a one molar solution. This is a two molar solution. Uh-oh, we've got a problem here. This is a 2.5 molar solution. A little Velcro strip sewn in there. So that's another thing you can do with these. Now you might ask them afterwards, if I cram one mold into 250 milliliters, what's the concentration of this? To see if they really grasp the concept, all right? That's a good thing to hit them with. All right, and you have several different beakers out so they can attempt to do this several different ways. Another motivational thing you can do with moles, and you can get all kinds of ideas from a group called the Mold Foundation. I'm sure if you Google that, you can find their place on the web. I used to give out extra credit. Kids would sell their grandmother for extra credit. They do more for extra credit than they would for credit. They, you know, I was thinking about making all the homework extra credit and the other stuff credit and see what happened. Maybe I'd get more turned in. One of, and I didn't like keeping track of extra credit. It's a pain, so I forced it on the students. Mole bucks. You can have all kinds of creative ones. I'm not sure that one's legal. It's got my picture on it. Some kids scanned it in over a dollar. Here's other ones. Here's a book I used for years so I could just carry it with me and give it out in class. I had them taped on. Uh, so if they answered a question really good, if they had a, brought me in something interesting that I could use in class, anything that I could think of, I could give them extra credit. I'd give them this, I'd stamp it with a red stamp with my name, and I'd have them sign it in front of me. If you don't have them sign it in front of you, they will sell it to their friends. You don't want this currency inflation around, all right? So that's first semester. And then nine times out of 10, they would lose them or they wouldn't need them. So I didn't have to keep track of the extra credit. It saved me all kinds of book work. So near the end, the second to the week before the grades were due, I'd say, bring in your extra credit. Great, that's, that's too bad. I'm safe, I don't have to keep count of it. So then what do you do second? You're saying, what do I do second semester? I got the kid back. Well, you don't tell them this, but you bring out bigger ones. Inflation, your other money's worthless. I got, you got to start again. Yeah, I never told you that wouldn't happen. Just like real life. Oh, you know what? Give me a couple of those moles back. You can also do something else with those moles. Yeah, oh, oh. Um, this is a combination reaction. This is like a soap opera, all my moles. I'm gonna need a couple more in a minute, but Hank, get them ready. Combination, two things going together to make one. Now be careful how you put them together, all right? You don't wanna, <laughs> there's a compound, two things, synthesis reaction. All right, give me another one, another one. Okay, look at this, decomposition. Look at this, single replacement. Double replacement. The opportunities are infinite that you could do this. You could make this into a mold soap opera, and you could tell all kinds of stories with that. Okay? Now, you could find stuff about moles everywhere. Here's a brochure for uh, 
Honda motor scooters. I'm not plugging Honda. I don't own one. But let me read one of the paragraphs in there. This is too weird, but. At standard temperature and pressure, the undersea storage compartment of the Elite 250 will hold 3.34 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of krypton gas, or an advanced thermodynamics by M.G. Litteman. And he goes on from there. See, kids, you need to know what molar mass is and what moles are in real life. It's right here in this brochure. Otherwise, you couldn't possibly own one, right? Yeah, you know, they may not believe that. All right, let's lose that. As if that weren't enough, we can show a chemical reaction with this. So let me lose this one going away and put up this chemical reaction. We're going to actually have two. We're going to take some solid calcium carbide. So let me put what that looks like out here. Are you able to focus on that, or would you like me to put it on a piece of white material? Okay, the tippet. Okay. All right. Solid calcium carbide. We're going to react that with some water to form calcium oxide and acetylene gas. Okay? So, and then we're going to take the acetylene gas and collect it. We're going to react it with oxygen in our second equation. And this one's exothermic, but this is highly exothermic, producing a gas and lots of, lots of energy coming off, carbon dioxide and water. We're going to do it with our friends, the mole. Because in the mole concept, kids get kind of bored with it after a while. There may be other words you would choose to use. So we have a little hole in these containers. They're taped for safety's sake. They have some water in the bottom. Yeah, there is a hole there. There is a hole there. And here's our moles, and we're going to launch these into space. Many years ago, there was something called pigs in space. I think it was from the Muffets, if I'm correct. Okay, your students will not relate to that at all. They don't know anything about that. That's television past. Now, so I'm going to drop in the calcium carbide simultaneously, even at the same time, into these two containers. Then I'm going to cap those. I'm going to wait a second, or 10 seconds, for it to build up and attempt to light it. I have two because sometimes you wait too long and you don't get the nice boom. You may want to cup your ears, okay? Don't put your fingers in them because then they'll go right through into your head. That's a bad thing. Okay, so here goes. I drop it in. I cap it up, I cap it up, I light my lighter, I wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I go. That worked. That worked. And that's what most kids would like to do with the mole concept. Now you're saying to yourself, yeah, there's some good chemistry here. I'd like to teach that, but explosions scare me. I don't want to do an explosion to teach the mole concept. Okay, your wish is my command. Now let's go through Boyle's Law and use the mole concept. Now what one would do is one could put a mole on here, okay, as a mole protector for this. This is a mailing tube. Now. I don't know how your camera is going to do it, but I'm going to launch it towards the Flynn people back there. It's going to go over their heads. Is this okay? All right. They've all got safety goggles on. And what one does is, this is a Boyle's Law experiment. I'm going to explain it because I'm going to stop when we're done with this. This will be the end of our discussion on moles. Here's the equation pervnert, the ideal gas law. We, our temperature is going to be constant. Our gas law constant is going to be constant. N is going to be constant, the number of moles that are in this tube. I'm going to decrease the volume. That will increase the pressure. So if this goes down, this has got to go up to keep these constant. So that's a K. Why do we use K? Because chemists can't spell. That's constant. And then, really, this is Boyle's law. Pressure and volume are inversely proportional. One goes up, the other goes down. All right, here goes the mailing tube. Whoever catches this 
gets a gift certificate from Flynn. Actually, I'm going to shoot it over in this direction. Okay. One, two, one. Let's try that again. One, two. Oh! oh. <laughs> Boyle's Law, no explosions, no major casualties. Mold concept with some fun. Thank you.